Hello and welcome back to another Omni Heroes video. So in this video we're just going to go through the Wailing Mines uh, in the Forgotten uh, forgotten Lands, Forgotten Realms, Forgotten Land it is. Um, so as you can see I'm up to 133 for this particular mission uh, and this is the team that I used uh, to get me there. So as you can see I've got Katrina, Atrops, Eudora, Karnak and Catherine. My rune, uh, sorry, my relics are Spear, um, Excalibur, and also um, the uh, Knight's Edge. And the reason that the, the Knight's Edge is in there um, is because of the relic damage, first of all, uh, and the overheal effect as well. Um, but bear with me. So if we go into clear records, as you can see, um, it's very similar lineups, just different positionings. Uh, and a lot of exclusive runes and the reason that exclusive runes are so important as you can see people who have progressed do have red Eudora runes um, and this is the reason why so uh, increase the attack of all allies by 200% for each warrior hero deployed um, and it's up to 3 so you get up to 600 attack uh, bonus for each warrior hero deployed the next one for each warrior hero that's equipped with a complete set of exclusive epic runes and above or the attack of all allies is increased by 300% stacks up to three times uh, and then finally uh, for each uh, deployed warrior hero that has a complete set of legendary runes the attack of all allies increases by 400% so stacks up to three times um, so we have two available to us uh, so we could potentially use Naoi in this uh, maybe take out Eudora but again she is part of it so you could potentially take out uh, Eudora and put Na uh, sorry Atrops and put Naoi in but overall we do want to have um, Atrops in here uh, just for the increase in damage now the tactic here is to kill as many of these um, zombies or skeletons uh, as possible within the allotted time uh, and I believe that you get uh, eight rounds for this uh, yeah you do one of eight so we get an increase of 900% for our attack and we get an increase uh, of uh, an additional 400% because I've got Catherine's runes fortunately I'm able to uh, proc Eudora here because of her exclusive runes uh, the fact that I've got two red runes for it and two epic runes means she's uh, effectively a halfway house for her rune status. So she has a 50% chance to proc. Uh, same chance as Nawi does. Now it looks like we're not able to um, kill as many uh, as we would like in the first round. But uh, our attack will continue to increase with the striker synergy here. And also um, with Catherine's overheal effect. Now again, we use this uh, Knight's Edge. Now it does increase the attack of all allies for two rounds. Uh, as you can see, we're doing much more damage there with uh, with Catherine. Um, but the overheal effect will be amplified. So as you can see, um, when we do heal, uh, in fact, we're already all the way up with Catherine here. So it looks like we're taking out quite a few of them. Uh, in one go. Uh, Eudora's red runes are particularly important here because it will allow her to proc every single time consistently. The halfway house is still only a 50% chance so still only as good uh, as Naoi uh, unfortunately. But as you can see here we're doing absolutely massive amounts of damage uh, on these units here and they're able to take it as well. So they're taking 2,000 million uh, attack from each of our units um, and it's very, um, it's a significant increase, shall we say. So uh, we do get the hits here um, and we don't get a double proc. So we're looking for that double proc. So it looks like we're able to take out the Gwyn um, so we won't be cursed anymore. As you can see, Catherine putting up some absolutely ridiculous numbers. Um, she she is really the key to getting past uh, this event as well. So it looks like we're 19 out of 35 uh, for miners killed, uh, and we're on stage six of eight. So I don't expect us uh, to be able to uh, pass this. Uh, as you can see, not doing nearly enough damage. Karnak able to do massive damage though. Uh, as is uh, Catherine, but again, 
we still need uh, more, I think, in order to pass this. So we're getting very close, uh, even with good RNG. We're able to get very close. Eudora not doing as much damage um, as the others, but it is what it is. Potentially in this last round here, we'll be able to uh, get 10 kills. There's three, four, five, six. So two more. And Catherine able to secure us the victory here. So it is all about that attack wounds. Uh, uh, sorry, Katrina able to sh secure us the victory. So it looks like Katrina did the most damage, uh, but I suspect that without Kath uh, without Katrina, we would have been uh, lost. So that's uh, just a very quick overview of how to complete this stage. Let's uh, keep going until we uh, do lose. So we're able to get 36 that time, uh, and then the more times we can do this the more coins uh, or gold that we'll get. So as you can see, we've hit a wall here, uh, not able to progress. So let's try it one more time. And we get up to, oh, we do progress. Very good. So we get an increase here. And these, um, these final stages are really 33 out of 35, so we're getting very close. I think with a couple uh, extra crits, we'll be able to progress. Um, but we do get the evolve runes, or the increased rate for uh, the evolve runes here. So Katrina here, doing the most damage. And again, we'll just keep going. How about that? Um, these are the ones that I'm talking about. So the uh, evolution or and we're able to get DD evolution or because we're past stage 100 as well. Uh, so this is it's really important that you get uh, as far as you can within these um, within these missions here, uh, and primarily because you do want to be evolving runes as quickly as possible. Now the rate for DD evolution runes is just very uh, very low or very poor. Getting to uh, an hour, I think, or two a day, uh, and it works out something uh, silly. So yeah, we've hit the wall here. Works out something silly. So yeah, two a day, uh, and you need two thousand five hundred. So that's a thousand days, if you work it out like that, um, to evolve one single rune. This rate really does need to increase. It's it's really bad, and it doesn't even go up. Um, so we can see floor forty nine doesn't go up past there. So. Um, right, that's it for this video. Uh, if you've got any comments, if you have got a better setup, uh, please do let me know so I can test it out. Uh, but thanks very much for watching, uh, and I do hope you have a good day.